Well, there is a bouquet of flowers lying on the Walk of Fame star to honor Larry King, the legendary TV and radio host who passed away today at the age of 87. King was a once, once CNN's biggest star, and he interviewed some of the most famous and influential people in the world. KCO9's Lori Perez looks back at King's storied career on radio and television. It's been a hell of a 50 years. I don't know how much longer I can go. <laughs> but as long as I feel it, I'm going to keep going. Larry King spent more than half a century as a broadcaster, many of them on CNN sitting with his iconic suspenders face to face with the world's newsmakers. From Elizabeth Taylor and Frank Sinatra to Al Pacino and Brad Pitt, he famously kissed Marlon Brando. Goodbye. Goodbye. And hosted American presidents from Richard Nixon. Yeah. Let's set this straight. Did you hate? the people who criticized you. To Barack Obama. You still like this job? Oh, uh, this is uh, the best job on earth. His good friend, Dodgers radio broadcaster Charlie Steiner, says King's conversational style set him apart as a journalist and a friend. He was probably the greatest dinner partner God ever created. He knew everybody, he knew everything about everybody, and what he didn't know he would ask. So his questions were simple. Why? How come? What do you think? And then he got the reputation, well, he's throwing softball questions. No, he's giving the interviewee, the guest, the opportunity to speak without a filter. King reportedly did more than 50,000 interviews. His first job in radio was cleaning up at a station in Miami Beach. When one of the announcers abruptly quit, King was put on the air. That's where legendary singer and host Pat Boone believes he was King's first ever celebrity interview nearly 60 years ago. He was doing a, a radio, late night radio show, interviewing people live in a restaurant in Miami. And I was appearing there. My career was going good with some hit records. And he wanted to know how it happened and what was I doing and what were my motivations. And he had more questions than I had answers <laughs> for. King loved asking questions, and he loved the Dodgers. Both he and the team, born in Brooklyn, turned Angelinos. He saw Jackie Robinson's first game at Ebbets Field in 1947. So he was always a Brooklyn Dodger, even though it said Los Angeles on the front of the jersey. And all I want to see is one more World Series championship. He got his wish. He signed off from his nightly show, Larry King Live, for the last time in December 2010. A devout Christian, Boone says he and King spoke many times about faith and the afterlife. I consider Larry King my brother, my friend, and now I hope that we're going to have a reunion in heaven with the God he wasn't sure existed. In 1997, Larry King, a man known around the world as a TV and radio giant, got a star here on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He was placed right next to the man he called his own broadcasting hero, Mr. Arthur Godfrey. In Hollywood, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL 9 News.